Our UAV is online. Securing Charlie. Enemy UAV online. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Mick Texas Twins, bringing you gameplay of Domination on the map right, where we're using the gun we're reviewing in this episode of Leap Weapon Reviews, the MP11 Goliath submachine gun. And now before we get this started, I just want to say, if you're wondering why my camo was really glitched out, kind of all rainbowy, I guess, it's because with the DLC camos, uh, I don't know if this is just on Xbox 360, that's what I play on, if you put on one of those default, not default camos, like DLC camos, um, they'll be really glitchy, and sometimes it works, but sometimes it's just really, really glitchy, and it looks kind of cool. But it'll also be kind of annoying, so I'm not really sure what that's all about, but just try to ignore it. That's just some weird camo glitch, and hope it, I didn't get some secret codes to get a new camo in the game or something. It's just some weird glitch. And you also may be wondering, um, why isn't Murphy filming this episode? Um, he's also on Hex Twins, he's my brother, and um, he was supposed to film this episode, but actually, we filmed this video... We filmed this video like for him, but the audio got all messed up on both things. It was on a different format, kind of for the series too, and it's got kind of all messed up. But like a couple days after that, I actually got the Goliath myself. I had a supply drop, and it's kind of the main gun I use now. So that's why I thought um, it'd be better if I did the review. But um, stay tuned for I think the next one. Um, Murphy, he just got the HPR A3 Insanity, which is amazing. He'll, he'll do a review on that pretty soon. But yeah, into the the video. All right, so the MP11 Goliath. It has plus three damage and minus three handling, which is um actually really really good for damage. You know what that means it's gonna kill people faster. It's gonna be um really buff it, make it um bullet hole is really good and minus three handling. That basically means you're gonna have a wider hip spread. You're not gonna be able to hip fire as good like especially with SMGs. Um hip fire is pretty important and they probably don't want you to have um be able to hip fire people because if you, with this kind of damage you probably be able to mow down people really quick. If it's put on lasers, laser dot whatever it's called and just mow people down. So that's that's the stats on it. But right, onto the attachments and the class setup. On the MP11 Goliath, I prefer to run the red dot and advanced rifling because, um, well, any optic, it works. It's just that I prefer the red dot you know, red dot's kind of the way to go. Because this gun, it's it's really good at medium to long range. Not the best at long range, but at medium range, you'll be able to pick people off really easily if you play strategically. And you're going to want to have a red dot because the iron sights on the Goliath, they work. It's just that, um, if you're at long range, you're going to want to have, like, a clear way to shoot, and the iron sticks are not, not the best for aiming down long range, so any optic helps, but it's not necessary. And I use advanced rifling because, especially since you're going to want to get a lot of long range to medium range kills, advanced rifling always helps out to just get that extra, extra, extra bullets in there and get that extra range. And for my third attachment, extended mags, I'm using that because, um, you get in a lot of situations, like, exactly in that triple kill in the beginning, hope you guys enjoy that, um, like, it runs out of bullets pretty fast. The MP11 Goliath, it has really good fire rate, so it runs out of bullets pretty quick. And extended mags can always help to get double kills or just help you out when you're in a gunfight and you just need to shoot all the bullets down range that you can. Okay, on the perks for perk one, I like to use lightweight because SMGs you can already run really fast, and advanced warfare is all about speed. And giving you lightweight will just help you move around the map a little bit faster and rush harder, which is really useful as for SMGs. And for my second perk one, it's um. It's it's kind of my personal preference about flak jacket because I, I I use this in a lot of uh, objective game modes and especially if you're like on a flag or something flak jacket can always help make it so you won't like get blown up by any grenades or anything. And for my perk two, I'm using peripherals because you can be rushing you you're gonna want to see who people are in the mini map because it helps just to know who people are you can go find them and kill them and it kind of helps to know if somebody's behind you and peripherals if you don't know what it does it makes your mini map like a giant rectangle instead of like a square. And it's really easy to see people on the mini map, which is really, really useful. And for Pro 2, you could run um, Gwangho. I don't really know how to pronounce it, Gwangho. It's, it's kind of useful. I don't really see myself using it that much because you can, I usually aim down sights a lot when I use this gun. But if you want to use on um, Gwangho, go for it. All right, for Perk 3, I prefer to run Scavenger because this gun runs out of ammo really quick. And it always helps to just get some bullets off people you kill instead of trying to pick up somebody's gun. And that's actually pretty useful. This Scavenger is a really nice perk to have. It's really convenient. You could place it up for toughness, but if you don't mind picking up pe people's guns. But I like to run Scavenger. And my second Perk 3, Blast Pressure. I feel like that's kind of needed for every class because well, if you don't know what Blast Pressure does, it makes it so that when you boost jump or ex use your exo abilities and on... Just in game, it won't show up on your enemy's mini map, which is actually really, really useful. You can get around really fast without being seen. 
which I'd say is a must need perk. But um, a lot of, it's kind of a shame. Like a lot of the perks that are really useful, like scavenger, um, toughness, and blast pressure, they're all in the perk three slot, which is kind of annoying. Because you can't, you don't have two perks in the same slot, which is really annoying. But you could have all three. And also for this class, um, I, you can run score streaks if you want. Take out some of the perks for score streaks. And for the exo abilities, like exo abilities, honestly, they're not that important. They don't really help out that much. They're kind of, they're kind of le leisurely items to use. They, they're not, they're not that great. But if you want to use one, you can go ahead. And for a launcher, that's not the same thing. You don't really need to use one, but I prefer to use the Semtex. Because like I said earlier, I like to play a lot of objective game modes. It can help for throwing one on the flag. Alright, so now I'm going to talk about the in-game stats. Like, because a lot of the stats in the games are not actually how it just feels like when you're actually using the gun. So I'm just going to see kind of how the gun feels when you use it in a game. Just to tell you how it feels. Right, um, to be honest, like, the AS1 is probably better than the MP11. The AS1 is kind of really overpowered if you don't know. Everybody uses it. Most powerful SMG in the game. And if you want to use AS1, do that. But, I mean, what's the point of using the most overpowered gun in the game? It's not really fun. When you can just be using, like, running around with a kind of odd weapon and trying to have fun. I think that's way more fun than just using the overpowered, most overpowered gun, to be honest with you. And when you're using it, it's actually really, really nice. It kills people pretty fast. And it, it's actually pretty nice. It's the fire rate, like I said, it has the best fire rate in the game, except for the squeaker variant, the other elite one, which my brother has. We'll do a review on that pretty soon, too. It has the really good fire rate. MP11, like, the, the stock version has the best fire rate out of all the SMGs. Excuse me. So that's really, really nice. And... Yeah, it's, it's actually pretty nice to use in game. It's just that um, if you rush and you're somebody going against somebody with the AS1, you probably you might not win every time because the AS1 is just a beast and melts people. But that's all I got to say about it in game. So, yeah. And now I'm going to talk about how the gun actually looks. As you can see, it, the picture is on the screen right now. It has kind of like a gray, kind of silvery finish. looks very, very nice. But um, to be honest with you, I, it, it looks really, the camera looks really nice. It's kind of bland. It has a little gold thing inside like that. So I prefer to run like lightning camera on it just because I think that looks cooler. But one thing that like, stays on it no matter what you see in the stock, in the bottom there, it has kind of like these green wiring on it and looks really, really sick. And I really like that feature of it that it just put like the little extra detail and makes it feel really, really awesome. Alright, on to the last part where I tell you if it's really good or not. Like to be honest with you, this is a really, really good elite weapon. If you have it, you should definitely like don't don't even don't even delete it. It's really good. This is probably I'd say probably the best MP11, but it's personal preference. If you don't like this, maybe like maybe you prefer the squeaker because of the fire rate. Maybe you prefer this one. This one's just kind of more ranging, more rangy kind of. And the speaker is more for rushing. I guess it's more for rushing, even though this one is kind of more dominant in rushing. Just whatever you prefer. I'd say this is the best variant of the MP11. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed kind of the new format on the late weapon review series. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Really, really, really good. It took me a while to, to get an actually a fun little um thing that happened before. I filmed this uh, gameplay. I got a really good gameplay before when we went 19 and 9 with it on Detroit, but my Elgato got messed up and yeah, like I lost the gameplay and it was really crappy. But I'm actually glad I got this gameplay because you know, I got that triple kill, which looks really, really nice. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm not sure what weapon will be viewing next time. It could be the HBR Insanity, it could be the ASMR Strider. You never know. But we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Taking Alpha. We lost Alpha. We lost A. Charlie, secure.